Hey everyone, I am back. Um, I really did not expect to do another video today. Um, so I got some happy mail <laughs> and this happy mail is from Kat. I've turned it over so you can't see our addresses. Um, I don't know what this is and I don't know why she sent it. So let's find out what this is. Um, so I did cut this open. I just haven't pulled anything out of the packaging. Um, let me do this a little bit off camera so I don't mess anything up. She's got it like protected. <laughs> and let's see what this is. Yeah, you didn't have to send me anything, but I do appreciate it, of course. Sorry about all the crinkling, guys. Some of, some of you don't like this, but if you want to see what it is, you're going to have to put up with the crinkling. What is this cat? Okay. Protected. Homemade with love. For Marilyn from Cat. This is a super cute bag that you have this in, by the way. So you're going to hear something in a second because my husband's coming inside. This is what always happens. I get on a video and he comes in the house. And so here we go. Let's see what she sent. So here's some tissue paper. And this may be the card. I'm not sure. Oh, look. Look at the gingerbread. <laughs> it's so cute. She's, she's made this out of foam. Oh, it's on a clothespin. Awesome. I'm going to put him on my inspiration board. He's cute. So my guess is that she actually hand cut all of this um, herself and then put um, put the buttons and the bow on here and did the whole nine yards decorating here. So this is so cute. Um, yes, yeah, he handcrafted by cat 2021. Yeah, this is going up on the board. And then the card. Let's see what she sent here. It's cute. Look at the little card. The um, scarf here is fuzzy. It's actually, um, what do you call it? Flocked. So it's really cute. Meowy Christmas. Oh, man. Thank you, Kat. It is so cute. So that's the inside of the card. So it's even kind of matching the outside. <laughs> that makes me laugh. All right. So let's just see what she sent. This is the cutest bag ever. You see the gingerbreads down here? With a gingerbread, an angel, and there's a um, reindeer. What? I thought you already sent me something. You didn't have to do this. Um, I'm keeping that bag, by the way. I had to do that. It's cute. Oh, it's like a little... Um, it's an ornament. She always does such beautiful work. It's a little tiny ornament. So she's got a little paper. It's a like a tussy mussy, um, but for Christmas. I never, I don't think I normally see them for Christmas, but it's so cute. I'm just fluffing up the ribbon for you guys. Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely hanging this on my tree. I haven't taken any video of my tree. Um, we just, well, let me just say it this way. Um, last year we got, we 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 re retired retired our christmas tree that um was white it wasn't white anymore it was more like brown <laughs> i would say so we're using the little um 4 foot christmas tree that esme sent me a couple of years back for my craft room um for our christmas tree this year and i actually didn't put one up last year honestly because i didn't feel like it it was just too much and the long story short, um, it's a four foot Christmas tree, but it has some of my uh, gingerbread ornaments on it that um, that I had and had purchased as well. Some were gifted to me and some I purchased. I didn't purchase too many gingerbread ornaments, but I have other ornaments on there. And this is going on that same tree because it is so adorable, Kat. She's got like this, I don't know, it's... um. It's, it's paper, but she also has on top of it some um, eyelash trim. 
And she did sign it. Thank you for signing it so that I'll remember always who it came from. Not that I'll forget, but she's got this little um, pom-pom at the bottom with a jingo bell. And then the the gingerbread is carrying this little um, candy cane. And there's some little greenery stuck down in there as well. And she's got a little loop for it to hang by. Um, and there's cinnamon sticks down in here now. It doesn't, it doesn't smell a lot like cinnamon, so it's not overpowering or anything like that. But it's so cute. Thank you, cat. I love it. It is too cute. Oh my gosh. I appreciate you doing that. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I know we all have things going on, but I certainly am thinking of you and everything that's going on. So, um... Thanks guys for sticking in with me. I'm actually going to share with you some stamps that came in too when her happy mail came in. So this is all going to go up right away because I like to be able to share me opening the happy mail. Um, be but because I also got other packages in the mail today, I'll, I'll share with you. This is a stamp that I didn't even know was out there until Anna shared it with me. She, um, I didn't know there was a girl for this because um, there is... I'm sorry, my head's turned. I'm trying to find it, but there is a boy stamp for this one right here that matches. And I have the boy version in a cling mount because I could not find him at the time in a um, wood block, which is fine, you know. We take what you can get, right? Um, and I'm looking for him, but I can't find him. Because uh, I did use him in her book. The the boy, that is. I wish I could find him. He's here somewhere. But he looks very much like she does, but he's not wearing a dress. He's just, um, you know, he's got his arms and legs. And I think he's got a bow as well. So this is a Ginger Girl 2213J Penny Black from 2001. Okay. So I got her today in the mail along with Cat's Happy Mail. I also got this sentiment stamp. Nice Christmas one. Yes, I'm still buying Christmas ones. This is also a penny black. Kate and Campbell, 2004. Joy Hope, 3028F. This is a really old stamp. It's It's... The wood and the block itself are just very different. It's 1987 from Commotion Stamps, Tucson, Arizona, from the kitchen of. And you can you can take some tape and hide that if you want to just stamp the image. So if you've got another sentiment you're going to be using on the card, just put some tape over it when you ink it, and then pull the tape off, and then stamp it. But this is a very old stamp. I don't know if this is the oldest one I have in my collection now, but it's from 1987. To give you an idea, I was still in high school. So. All right. So here's another thing I purchased from eBay. This is another Diana Markham one. Um, this is from her um, sale. Um, or from her specifically. Um, Poinsettia Square G4377. Um, so I picked this one up. And I also got this one. Um, it's in a container because it's got all my other small cube stamps that I have for Christmas in here. So if you can see it closely, there are two gingerbread heads here. There's two cube stamps in this particular package. So this one has the two girl and boy gingerbread, which I have in a larger uh, version. Like when I say larger, it's like this size. Um... And then I have the heart as well in a larger version. And then there's candy canes here. I don't have one like that. Um, and then there's these guys, which um, you have the snowman, which I have in a larger version. The snowman head, which again, I have in a larger version. Same size as these guys. I have a snowflake that's a little bit larger. And I don't think I have a bell, but that's good to have, right? <clears throat> you can see some of the other ones that are in here. I need to stamp some of the... There's two new ones in here that I haven't stamped, and one has a cookie sheet on it, and the other one has a different ginger. Um, I've used them before, but I just haven't um, stamped them yet to put in here, because I was busy. So there's that. 
Um, and then I purchased from Impression Obsession some stamps. And these are all sentiments. I th no, they're not all sentiments. But there's one here, what triggered me is the stamp that Anna had on her, one of her videos. Well, actually two of her videos. I think she showed it when she purchased it. And then she showed it when she did some tags, or I know she's done some tags with it. So I like the font on this. So I went ahead and purchased it as well. Little tiny square stamp. Um, that's one you can keep on your desk a lot. Um, this one says ho, 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 similar font. Um, this one is Tis the Season. A gift for you. And this one, again, you can keep on your desk year round. It doesn't have to be just for Christmas. You can see the size of it compared to that one. Um, oh, I got Humbug, which I think Anna showed this one too. And then the rest are images. I got a deer. And a little Christmas tree. This would be nice for a closure on the back of a card. Not... Well, back of a card, but I was thinking back of an envelope, the flat part. And then this rusty star. All right. And those are the things I got from Impression Obsession. And that's my haul. And thank you again, Kat, for the little cute ornament. And thinking of me again, you certainly didn't have to do that. Um, I'm going to go back to what I was doing, which is doing my Christmas cards. So I can get those out in the mail. Those were the last things I had to do, I believe. So thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you soon and happy Christmas. Bye.